The most powerful man in Iran is its supreme leader, Ayatollah Khamenei, the cleric who's ruled for two decades. But David Wright reports tonight that the protests may be weakening his grip on power. The last time Iran had street demonstrations this big was 30 years ago, 1979. The demonstrations today are eerily reminiscent in terms of numbers of the demonstrations that led to the overthrow of the Shah of Iran. The revolution gave Iran an elected president, but the real power is in the hands of Shiite Muslim clerics, led now by this man. Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, the supreme leader of Iran, is undoubtedly the most powerful person in the country. He has absolute authority over all institutions of government. Including presidential elections. The election now being contested pitted the abrasive hardline incumbent Mahmoud Ahmadinejad against the more moderate Mir Hussein Mousavi. But the power struggle playing out on the streets is really between Mousavi and the Ayatollah, two sons of the revolution who have clashed before. When you think of Mir Hussein Mousavi, think Mikhail Gorbachev. Uh, you know, he is not a revolutionary uh, who wants to firebomb the, uh, the Islamic Republic. He is someone who wants to work within the system to change the system. Already, the Ayatollah has made some concessions, agreeing to a partial recount. The Supreme Leader is facing an incredibly delicate situation. He's facing not only a rebellion on the streets of really all of Iran's major cities, but also an intense amount of pressure behind the scenes from uh, members of the power structure. What's not yet clear is how far the protesters will press their case. And if the authorities crack down harder, whether that would intimidate the protesters or inflame them. This may well be a tipping point, but it also has the potential of becoming Iran's Tiananmen Square for the Supreme Leader, a supreme test. David Wright, ABC News, Washington.